The downside was was Rui Patricio getting uh, getting injured from Jurgen point Jurgen Klopp's point of view. He'll be absolutely buzzing to get those three points. Yeah, and that will be uh, Nuno's first thought, as we said, Paul. But in terms mm. of his team, did they ask Liverpool a couple of questions? <sighs> not really. I think I'm not, I'm not sure. I think especially in the second half when they needed a goal, and I said they needed to show the urgency. Never really looked like they were going to score. Probably the last ten minutes, <clears throat> excuse me, when they started to actually take chances. Um, with Troy down the right-hand side, put some lovely balls into the box. Had a couple of chances that could have gone in, but I'd be disappointed with that because, that's, again, that was a team where the Wolves would have thought they could have beat them. They were vulnerable, they, you know, lack a bit of confidence and, you know, not to really play the way they thought they could have played because they've done well Wolves the last three or four weeks, you know what I mean? And to play like that, disappointing for me. Yeah, just a second defeat in eight for Wolves to complete the Premier League match week that has had plenty of stories. Plenty of significant headlines. Who knows how important that late equaliser for Newcastle on Friday night could be in the long run. At home to Aston Villa, 1-1 at St James's. No goals at Ellen Road, but Thomas Tuchel is still unbeaten with Chelsea. Win for Palace, big one for Burnley as well at Goodison. And then a comfortable one in the end in the second half for the leaders, Manchester City at Fulham. Huge win for Brighton at Southampton. Thumping one for Leicester at home to the bottom club, Sheffield United. The North London derby went the way of the red side with Arsenal coming out on top by two goals to one. Manchester United got the better of a tight game at Old Trafford, as have Liverpool at Molyneux. The champions are back to winning ways. So Manchester City's lead, as you can see, 14 points. Manchester United and Leicester do have games in hand. Chelsea occupy the fourth Champions League spot. West Ham win their game in hand. They would be level with Thomas Tuchel's side. Liverpool, as we say, up to six tonight. Level on points with Everton, having played a game more. Arsenal are just four points behind Tottenham after their win in the North London derby. That they defend well. We need to take advantage when they are unbalanced, and they were at that moment. And a quick triangulation from, I think, um, Sadio to Mo back again, and then me on the left. So a good movement, a good goal, and help the team. I think reaching a victory that we're looking for a long time in the Premier League. Uh, I think uh, we need to Im improve a lot in this competition, especially, and uh, hopefully this could be a great uh, start of a run until the end of the season. It's our game. Uh, we knew uh, we knew that, and um, uh, obviously they, they make it very hard for us during the entire game. Um, I think we had a couple of chances in the first half. In the second half, not so much, uh, apart from the, the, the disallowed goal and more now in the end. But of course, we knew that would be tough and we are very happy with the victory. Talking about the uh, build-up to his goal, so let's have a look at it because um, Wolves won't be too impressed when they see this, will they, Paul? No, very disappointing. Coming from a Wolves, Wolves throwing uh, into Jose, can't hold the ball up. And then after that, you know, you've got the top three. I mean, it's, it's sizing football, cutting through through a Wolves like butter and then obviously you know Chief Fisher makes a mistake but you know this is what we want to see from Liverpool this is what we've missed about Liverpool this is what the fans have been complaining about and um, when they play like this you know they're unstoppable Michael Every one of those touches from the Liverpool front three was difficult you know even the, they made it look good but the, the pass across from Salah with his weak right foot the pace on it and then the little flick so it meant Jota didn't even need to take a touch I mean it looks quick oh, it looks Easy, as I should say, but when you're doing it that quick, very difficult. Some great touches, and that's what the front three are all about. There weren't too many uh, clear-cut opportunities, particularly in that first half for Liverpool, but there was one for Sadio Mane, which you've looked at over and over again, and you have a bit of a theory about. Yeah, I mean, this is a good move as well. Uh, right the way down the middle, great little play from Thiago, and I love the way he stays on his on his uh, on side there, and then he decides to go round the goalkeeper, stays on his feet, and I think we see often... Um, Strikers going down too easy. We just see a hand. He touches Sadio Mane's foot there. And he got every right to go down, but I think it's only fair when we have a go at attackers for, for going down too early. It's only fair when we give them a bit of praise as well. We don't like to see diving. And, and there's been a few instances um, lately with Sadio Mane where he stayed on his feet. So I think we've got to applaud that sometimes. This is the first one uh, against Sheffield United. I think he could easily have gone down. Uh, and I think, do you know what? He, he would have gone, he has been, you know, uh, guilty of going down quite easily in the past. But that, he could easily have gone down. And again, a week or so later at Anfield against Chelsea, Christensen, I think this time, he could easily have gone down there as well. A lot of people were saying, why didn't he go down? Then there was another occasion today. So we have a go at the uh, attackers when they go down too easy. And this is the third one today. But I think sometimes you've got to give them a bit of praise as well. And Sadio Mane being very honest um, at the moment. Where are you with this, Paul? 
Oof. Um, yeah, listen, I, I think Michael's right. He is very honest, you know. The thing is, we don't want people... Because it's got to be clear and obvious, you know. We don't want players just any contact going over and diving, you know. Uh, so it was great to see a player, you know, especially Marnie, who's obviously got a, a few uh, criticism for going down in, in the last couple of years, trying to stay up and, and score a goal. You know, I think it's great to see it. Yeah, as you say, yeah. Wolves didn't create an awful lot. No. But right at the end, after the restart, after uh, the worrying injury, this happened. Yeah, as I said, I mean, I can understand why Nunes, you know, brought back Troy to play as a right wing back, you know, they're one nil down. Uh, and, this is, and, this is, and this is where you want to see him. You know, and, it, and, it, and it's so simple. You know, ball into the box, takes a little deflection for Benio. This is where you miss him and his. You know, this is where you need a, a, a striker to go and put it in the back of the net. It's his shoulder. Maybe he should get his hair cut. He might be able to see it, you know. <laughs> um, but disappointing. That's a great chance for Wolves to try and get something out of the game. But they didn't. And let's hear from their manager, Nuno. Just have an update now. He's OK. He's OK. He's, he's conscious. He's conscious, total conscious. He, he remembers what happens. He's aware. So the doctor told me he's OK. All these situations, when 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 he's a concussion in the head, gets all all of us worried. Uh, but he's okay. He's okay. So he's going to recover. So everything's okay. I think we play a good game. I think we were honestly a very good game. Uh, competitive first half. Um, we had chances. We 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 defend well, um, controlling the deep, the speed of, of of Liverpool, and we play good football with with some some chances that we we should take advantage of it. Same thing from Nuno there is that Rui Patricio is conscious, talking and remembering the incident. That is, that is fantastic news for all football fans. Big relief. Big relief for everyone and of course in particular for Wolves because they've suffered um, with one of their players having a real serious injury earlier on in the season. So huge relief uh, for all and of course, you know, the, the game is important but it's not as important as everybody's health and, and, uh, and a great, great bit of news there from the manager. Here, here. Right, here are the thoughts of the winning manager, Jurgen Klopp. What did you think about? Oh yes, it's all about the result. Eh? So it was a, a big fight, and um, we had if we won the, like three dirty points, completely fine with that. That's how you have to try to get back on track. Um, we had very good moments. We had moments where we should have done better offensively, but defensively the whole the whole game was was really good. Just, they didn't like the start. We were not active enough in the start, and. Um, I think the first ball they played behind the last line, which was clear offside, but it, the, my impression was it made the last line kind of insecure, so they dropped a little bit deeper. But it was a good defending because the line was in the right place, but because nobody realized that then that it's clear offside in the end, you take that um, or you carry that with you if you want. And, um, so, but apart from that, we improved there a lot and defended really well. And that was the main target today, that we defend them well, we the counter-attack and all these kind of things. And then, how is that? A lot of really good football moments where we could have done better and could have scored maybe more. But the goal we scored was beautiful, the, 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 or the, how it happened. And then the finish, I, I didn't see it back. It was a short corner. I, um, I think it was there. I thought the goalie will save it, but in the end, the ball was in, which is very important for us. So we got the three points and everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, a much-needed return to winning ways. Just how important, though, because they've got a three-week break now, Paul, before they play Arsenal. Mm -hmm. no, I, th I think it was massive, I think, especially when you think of, you know, playing in the Champions League in the week against Leipzig. Um, all the criticism that's been flying around in, in, in the league. Um, and it's never easy playing a Champions League game and going into the Premier League. You know, it's, it's tough. Me and Michael experience it. It's not easy. You're kind of lackadaisical. Um, but today was just about getting the result, as you said, getting the three points. Um, everyone's been asking questions, what's wrong with them, what's going on. We, we, know, we know the major problems, we've just mentioned it before. Um, but, you know, he still want to get in that full spot. I think that's imperative, they try to keep fighting for that full spot. They've got some tough games coming up. But the more games you win, the more you start building up bricks and building confidence. And that's what, they, that's what they're going today against a tough all side. Mm. Mm. Confidence is key, isn't it, the way Liverpool have been playing? Yeah, you, you, I mean, this demonstrates really what confidence can do to a player. We've mentioned loads of times before, Everyone around the world will have a different theory on why Liverpool have gone from so good to so bad in the blink of an eye in football in terms. Now, but the one thing you can't deny is, yes, they've had a couple of big injuries. Yes, this, yes, that excuse, yes. But in general, now, after all those little, you know, problems, now there is a, a general lack of confidence, or there has been. Um, so 
And that doesn't repair overnight. Yes, they've all got self-belief. They've been there, they've done it. That counts for so much because it means your confidence comes back quicker. But at the moment, Liverpool aren't at the top of the game. And as Jurgen Klopp said, to get out of this rut, sometimes you need some dirty points. So they've got three dirty points tonight. Then they can build on that. And hopefully, obviously, now what have they got? Ten games or so to go. They can't really afford many more slip-ups if they're going to get into that top four. And given the lack of goals recently, Paul, I mean, the clean sheet was, was crucial tonight. In very, terms of that belief. Yeah, that absolutely spot on, Steve. Very, very important because we do talk about the lack of goals. And the thing is, if you're not scoring goals, you've got to be stopping goals. And, you know, I think most teams, when they play against that Liverpool defence, we think that we're going to get few chances here. Wolves had a couple of half chances, but nothing that was where I thought, well, they should have scored maybe the silver one at the end. Um, so, listen, but they're not scoring goals. But if you keep them clean sheets, as manager says, you've got a chance of winning games. Mm. That, that defence has been... Pinpointed, hasn't it? A lot of the time, people saying, Kabak, what's he like? Phillips, you know, looks quite raw still. But hey, they've kept three clean sheets in the last three games and, and Liverpool are starting to look like they can win again. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's the foundations for success, as, as Paul says. And they've gone within five points of, of Chelsea mm -hmm. uh, tonight. They're still within touching distance. There, there is, as, as Michael said, there's 10, 10 or nine games to go. You know, and if, if going into a team that's full of confidence, you know, they won't be scared about any fixtures now. I know they've got some tough games coming. But, you know, as I said, if you keep building confidence and winning games and keeping clean sheets and you kind of get your players back gradually, who knows where they're going to be at the end of the yeah, season. 27 points still to play for. Yeah, the only problem is that the teams above them in that top four are playing particularly well. They don't look like they're having a wobble. Leicester had a wobble last season towards the end, so they, they, but they're going to need a team like that to start struggling. Chelsea look very solid at the moment. They don't look as if they're, they're going to lose. They're very mm. solid. Don't get me wrong, they don't look as if they're going to beat anyone 5-0. But they're, they're a good team. Manchester United winning at the minute. Leicester, they're doing well. So Liverpool are going to need some luck from elsewhere as well as playing well themselves. OK, but so they have got back to winning ways. Paul, Michael, thank you very much indeed. That was the main thing for the champions tonight. Clean sheet, one goal from a very familiar face and a step forward for the reigning Premier League champions. We'll see you soon.